This amazing story and journey that I've been on started mid-1999 when I developed a bowel obstruction. I was uh, put in hospital, put on conservative treatment, you know, the IV, NG tube. Was pretty much assured that after a few days that would resolve itself and life would go back to normal. Unfortunately, in my situation, it didn't go back to normal. That initial few day stay turned into a 355 day stay in hospital with multiple surgeries <laughs> um, and having the best gastroenterologist and neurologist in our part of the world stumped. Um, it was quite an ordeal for everybody that was involved. It was especially hard on my family um, and I guess it was even ironic for me that they had brought my case up at two world symposiums the gastroenterologist and nobody had an answer to what was happening to a healthy 34 year old person at the time while I was on palliative care um, another gastroenterologist and a neurologist had a second look at me and they decided to do more testing. It was called myasthenia gravis. And in my case, I was one of the first documented cases that had ever affected the bowel and the bladder. And then the word bowel obstruction came back into my life. And it came back quite frequently. And it was a result of numerous surgeries, trauma, I guess, other things like that as well you know, from the surgeries. It got so bad at the end that I was being admitted to the hospital for a bowel obstruction every 10 to 14 days. It was a vicious circle that I went through for about a year and a half to the point that the doctor sat me down and they said, Bill, the only option that we see you have because we cannot open you up anymore. We will just go backwards. There's, we're going to do more damage. The adhesions are there. The scar tissue is there. And we're just going to compound things by doing that. So we knew that wasn't an option. The only option I was given was to give up work completely, go on a liquid diet, and hope that the bowel obstructions would subside or at least uh, decrease in numbers because of being on a liquid diet. At my age, at 37 years old at that time, I wasn't willing to accept that as my life for the rest of my life. So I got on our beautiful internet, the World Wide Web, and I said there has to be someone else on this planet that is going through what I am. And the company's name was Clear Passage. I came here, I met with the owners, Larry and Belinda. But once the treatment started, I knew that I was in the right place. By the end of the week, I knew I wasn't the same person that walked into those doors at that clinic. My life had changed for the better. To the point that it's been eight years since I've been back to the clinic. Um, so to go from a person who was obstructing every 10 to 14 days to having a period of eight years of having bell obstruction free is nothing short of a miracle. The doctors were amazed. I, I was, of course, raving <laughs> about where I had been from my treatments and what it had done for me. They could see a difference in me, my posture, my just well-being, my, my, you know, and everything else something I think that the medical field really needs to look at as an alternative to surgery possibly in the first place. While I was at Clear Passage, uh, besides the, the treatments for the, you know, the adhesions and, and that, um, they spent a fair amount of time showing me exercises uh, that things, you know, and using small tools and stuff that I could carry on the maintenance at home myself, which is very important. You need two 
you need to be diligent to be able to do that, uh, but it, the results are amazing. Um, it's, it's, it's incredible, actually. It, it's, it takes 20 minutes of, it, of your day, of, you know, just doing these stretches and, and, and um, exercises that you're taught. And uh, what can I tell you? It, it'll keep you where you want to be in life, as far as I'm concerned, quite well. One of the important aspects, I guess, to of going through uh, what I have and what I you know, faced right from day one, from the initial bowel obstruction to, to now, is knowing that you have a, a wonderful support force behind you. And I, I get sentimental sometimes when I say stuff like this, but in my case, I'm very lucky. I have two amazing sons. And I also have an amazing wife who's always been my, <laughs> there I go, <laughs> my source of inspiration and my source of strength. And, uh, you know, it, there are some times when you're not probably feeling 100% or whatever else, but having that person there that you know is beside you, no matter what, does make a big difference in your healing in your progress and getting you to where you want to be in life again. Well, my salvation was clear passage, I have to say. I have to say. And meeting two lovely people that became a big part of our lives, I tell you.